Wow. <gasps> oh, this explains this part of the lore. Um, off screen, they all got enough <laughs> of the Krana's masks. And, and, and then they fought the Borok Queens, and then after fighting the Borok Queens, they became the Toa Nuva. So they upgraded? Yes. Um, besides, like, all the physical attributes, their masks are now, like, AoE. Okay. So instead of Kopaka's mask just being X-ray vision, you can give everyone X-ray vision around you. Yeah, this is nothing like the movie, because I remember no. the movie being about... Because they're already Nuva, is yeah. the thing. In the movie, they're already this. Because, like, skip. <laughs> the fine. movie I remember being about a little red kid yeah. who's like, oh, I'm so weak, I'm so weak, and then he finds the Mask of Light, he's like, I am God now. Yeah, he gets the, he gets the Mask of Light. He's like, I can do things. The Mask of Light is, like, one of, like, the three most powerful masks. Uh -huh. Mask of Light, Mask of Time, and Mask of Life, I believe. Alright, I can't skip. Yes, all of the, um, the, the, the Ga, Matoran, and the... I say Ga, those are like the aquatic ones, the water ones, they're all female. Ah. Do you like the acorn house? Looks like a acorn to me. Yeah, that's me. It's a nut house. Bading tush. I'm just put over that sound effect. Uh, if I can find Bading it. Bading tush. That's, no, the... that's what it usually sounds like. Bading tush. I don't know. The the, 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 when the guy does the joke and he hits the drum, the so it's a snare drum, the and, yeah. It's a but I'm not a, whatever the fuck you say, do a <laughs> shoosh, whatever the hell. Charging up. You know, I'm stupid, okay? But, but I, I learned. Mean, I like that they just gave Algali an ass, like. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of all those, like, mock bionicle builds I keep seeing. Where people like, are hiding all around us. When in the water, you can hold Y to swim fast and double jump to leap out of the water and explore the Wahi. All right. You ever see those mock bionicles? I mean, which ones? The ones with the the the, the features. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, put put a couple on screen that you find. Oh, there's some good ones. I I know. Um, I I saw one. They got the, 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 they took the red one mm -hmm. and they gave it boobs. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's oh, there's so many. You're gonna just go down a rabbit hole of like, oh my god. There, there's some that I think look really cool. Because, They're very well built. Like yeah, some. they look like just robots with like humanoid features. Uh -huh. But then some of them are are made to intrigue somebody's weird animalistic fetishes for robots. Mm -hmm. It's natural. It's natural as robots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the little meme was it was like a little video and it's like. Check out my uh, my big naturals. He's like, you have fake naturals. He's like, what the fuck does that mean? It's like, fake naturals. You're you're made out of plastic. They're fake naturals. <laughs> that, okay, open up the door. I remember playing this level a lot. It looks it looks like Jack and Daxter-y, and I appreciate that. I like how bright, like relatively bright this game is. Like it's it's a little pretty shadowy, but like the colors yeah mostly pop. Whoosh. Ooh, Swimming what is, is not camera? atrocious, I will say. I am tempted to try to get a copy of Beast Wars on N64, but that game I heard Didn't is... The game just, did you have the movie just come out? Yes. Beast Wars movie? Well, it's uh, Transformers Rise of the Beasts or something like that. It has Optimus Primal in it, and I'm just like, ooh, I want to see that. Our sister is trapped in that dark energy cage. Strongest of blast. You must fully charge your energy with B, then immediately press blind to activate your. Oh, the Nuva Blast. Right. Um, because I, I like Optimus Primal. I like both versions of him. Um, this. There we go. And I, I think he's cool. He... Wow, you can really swim fast. I heard the higher you can get, the deeper you can dive. That's so cool. Like, does that mean toke up? 
And then I can go go down deeper? I think so. Cool. Uh, include bong rip sound effect dot WAV. And if I forget, leave in me asking to put in bong rip dot sound effect. Or bong, bong rip hyphen sound effect dot WAV. Okay. This is getting more funny as you talk about it. Oh, I know it's not funny. No, I'm saying it's getting more funny. No, it's not. Don't lie to me. I never lie to you. That's right, you'll just gaslight me. What's that? <laughs> it's like that scene in The Simpsons where Homer's like... You reached the bottom of that abyss. Remember? Oh, shit! All right, well, bye. All right. I slipped through a hole, and then I'm over here. All right. Speed run. That, that, was, that was not unexpected. Just kind of strange position in there. Speed run. I hate that I only ever hear about like AGDQ and SDD SGDQ like the week after they're completely done. Wait, th that happened already? Yes, that was in like June or what something. What the fuck? Yeah. Like I've been wanting to go to them. Yeah, it's 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 never like when I expected. Like I legitimately follow speedrunners and they they don't fucking mention this shit. Christ. I don't know about that. Um, but Simple Flips, the Super Mario 64 speedrunner guy, out. is going to be at uh, the Cleveland Classic Games Expo thingamajig at the IX Center. And I want to go, and I want him to sign my Super Mario 64. But then also the guy who played Mario is going to be there. Charles so, Martinet. Yeah, Charles Martinet is going to be there too, the same day. Nice. So I can have them both sign my copy of Super Mario 64. And to me, that would be amazing. I don't think I have a copy of the N64 one anymore. Sadly. I used to have two, but then GameStop was giving like $24 for a copy of Super Mario 64. I'm like, that's good. That's good. But that camera really zoomed in there on these little crystals. Yeah. Remember when Super Mario 64 only God, these controls like are, apps are surprisingly tight. I'm very happy about the controls in this game. I'm going exactly where I want to go at the speed I'm expecting to go and turning the other way. Oh, I can go back to here now. Oh. Yeah, sure, I'll try that. Yeah, I have to be able to go back because, um... Uh, I needed eight dudes, and if I didn't happen to get eight dudes, I'd have been softlocked, so they... This is a route back. Oh. Cool. So, like, you need eight dudes for this. I have nine, so I've got plenty of it. I may as well... Okay. What? What? Those masks are basically full restores. Hmm. And I hit a thing that spawned it down there. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Acorn house. <laughs> I love the abrupt restart of the sound. Oh, that's great, isn't it? That was really good. And down. Did yeah. it. Alright, now I need to leave. I'm done with this area. Ah! There we go. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that hurt. What? The that you got caught in the stream so it just sent you through and then the camera just Oh, it's abrupt. <laughs> yeah. It's so abrupt. Is there anything else over here that I missed? Oh, there's some gems over there I should get. Um, but like abrupt camera changes are what pissed me off in in a lot of games Because um, I've been playing house of the dead overkill because I just have it. I'm just like this. This sounds like it could be fun Okay, no, that was everything. and then um, So like when you shoot zombies you can build up your combo But then the camera just changes abruptly like mid shot and it's like you missed just throwing off the combo and I'm just like no, I didn't you did though Because <laughs> the game made me yeah Oh, and then, and then there's some areas where it yes. doesn't really, like, explain to you that what's happening is just, like, supposed to be something you watch. So I'm just like, all right, so I'm just going to shoot this out. Nope, the camera switched to show me, to highlight something mid-shot. There's, like, a, a, like, 10, 15 fucking zombies in the corner. Oh, they're just there for background decoration. All right, fuck that. Fuck that, I guess. I like that you could do subtle mo movements and it just doesn't throw you off shit. No, it's great. No, it's, it's, it's very tight controls. Like, surprisingly good. Um, I want to get back to the island, but I don't want to get sucked into the vortex. I'm going to go a bit out of the way. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. I don't hate the animations either. Yeah. They have a lot of like, there's a lot of movement in it. Oh look, with the boulder gun. I know, I know, I can, I know. I know. <laughs> that was actually something um, I'm gonna bring up. Uh, they're using a lot of weird words for things. Uh, like, and that's something that they really just stopped doing for the, the second generation of Bionicle. And I think that was kind of disappointing because it's kind of fun having their own like language and yeah. vocabulary for these um, things that do normally exist. But, uh, um, so I had a couple of the chapter books as a kid, and uh, I remember the holy text. My, what the holy text? Yeah, um, I remember having my dad read me them as like bedtime stories. Cause, right, idiot. And he was like, <laughs> I don't know these names. I can't pronounce it. So he's like calling them like Bob, Doug, Dave. <laughs> well, I mean, try. It's not that hard. Kopaka. It's, it's, it's what. Three syllables. I, I know, but you know, I just found it funny that my dad was like, "This is Steve, S Steve the Bionicle." What did what did he call Golly the female one? I don't I don't remember because like uh, I, I I think he was just one of the Bob and Steves. And then I remember I was having my mom, my mom read me part of one. I'm like, no, use the names Dad used, because <laughs> I was just like, that's funny to me. And then it's like, to me, yeah, that's yeah. still, wow, you're getting caught in the ground. Yeah. I want to grab the, 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 these little crystals here. It's kind of hard to hit. Oh, you have to like go down a certain amount of feet with each jump. What do you mean? You can't just swim down. No, the, no, the, there's no like depth swimming. I have to jump from a higher point. I don't like that. That sounds like no, that's a, it. It makes it easier to navigate the 3D because you're not navigating the 3D. Yeah. And then if you press Y, you'll you'll dive deeper, which is why I have to like line this up a little ah. bit. It's fine. There we go. It, it, it literally just took me lining up the three jumps and then I got it. So but does the Bionicle figure have like hips like that? No, uh, they have the exact same body as all the rest of them. Um, but like the 3D model, like even in the movie, was a lot more feminine. Ah. But they... none of the figures are more feminine, even though all of the blue ones are females. All of the, at least of the Toa. Um, I think like the the creators of Matanui and the Toa and all the elements and stuff, they found that I think water and psionics were too powerful for um, the the male organic parts to handle, and so they had the more tempered. Uh, they were all females, because hmm. females are more level-headed, and so they had the stronger elements. I think that's like part of the. That was like I think that's the lore, pretty much. Is the the water and psionics were reserved for, for female only, because the male ones would just get pissed and just destroy shit. Yeah, because it was just too strong and kind of like throw off their brain. Remember in Bionicle <laughs> Heroes when we just blew up that one lady? Nope. That's right. It didn't happen. I don't know if I have here's those a uh, like a like a like a Rahi submarine. That reminds me of the Cataquax from <laughs> Sunshine. Just put a Cataquax right next to it. You can kind of see the eye on the side and the big beak. Yeah, it's a whale. I love the the cutscene being like letterbox. Oh, okay. So I couldn't get all those light crystals. Okay. Well, well here she is. Uh, Soloing all six of the, uh, the the Vorok, the stronger Vorok. Okay. I like that in this fight they decided to actually like make them do some sort of attack. Kind of. Yeah. And then these ones, the um, these Borok, there are only six. Huh. So she is fighting the whole swarm. Just a fun fact. Fun fact. She she be a beast. Yes. With the I can breathe underwater mask. Where's that little mask? 
Damn it. That's why I wanted the mask. You look away for two seconds. And then you die. Because I, I saw the tab, it was like, people also watched when when it was on the page for Bionicle Mask Flight. It's like Ben 10. <laughs> the the live action Ben 10 movie. The live action, I forgot the other. There's three of them. Three live actions? Yeah. I don't remember there being three live action. I remember there being a few movies, but not in the live action. There's there's either two or three live action Ben 10 movies. Yeah, Ben 10 Alien Swarm, I think, is the second one. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's there's at least two. There's Ben 10 Race Against Time, Ben 10 Alien Swarm. What? I, I think there's another one. Ben 10. Oh, there's a CG one. Destroy all aliens. Is that like the Godzilla game? Sadly, no. But the fact that there's two live-action Ben 10 movies, I find hilarious. Oh, by the way, I think their corpses are, are hitboxes. Oh. So, like, I kind of can't walk here. It's a little hard to see, but I can put up the shield, uh, which allows me to regain energy and block heads. Which I kind of like. It's a little bit of like a little bit of a timing skill. And it's, it's good. It's like Dark Souls, but it's with... just like Dark Souls. Honestly, again, a quest, a quest for Mana Nui, Bionicle would make a very good Dark Souls like series. Yeah. Because the lore is like just dark enough, but just silly enough they can get away with it. All right, cool. Excuse me. There, Barakal. I forgot the, I'm glad the that suffix for them. I'm glad it like stopped halfway through her first sentence. Because mm -hmm. I feel like this is one of those games where if you loaded the scene. Whoa! It's the mask. It's <laughs> the chronicler. Him is who becomes the the um the tall blade. Oh. Uh, but I believe she just got informed of the new bad guys, even though, um, lore-wise, they band together to fight the Borak Kyle and end up having to use, um... I think they, I think the Borak Kyle stole their elemental power since they had to fight the Borak Kyle to get it back, and they had to use the Mask of Time to get it. It was like a whole thing. 